All right, so I missed a phone call this morning from a salesperson that the receptionist said uh, was calling to talk about our toner. And she said that he mentioned that our toner prices were going to be going up and that he wanted to send us some toner before the prices went up. Well, I knew right away that this was a total scam. People like this have called here before. They try to scam you into buying toner now because the price is going to be going up and they find people that fall for it and buy the toner because they think, oh, well, I better get the toner before the price goes up. We have a lease with a company that supplies the toner free of charge. We pay for a certain number of impressions on the machine and then they provide the toner. So we get our toner for free, so we don't need to buy it while we don't get it for free, but we get it as part of our lease. It isn't any additional cost on top of our lease, it's just included in our lease of our copy machines and our printers. So when I heard this guy called, I knew right away it was another one of those salesmen that try to scam you into buying toner that you don't need, that you don't need to pay for. The receptionist said he was going to be calling me back in a couple hours, so when I get the call, I'm going to be recording with both my cameras. And I can do that because Nebraska is a single party consent state. That means to record a phone conversation, only one party of the conversation needs to consent to the recording. So let's see what this guy has to say. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, the receptionist just paged me and said that the guy is on line one. So let's see what he has to say for himself. This is John. Photocopier, and um, I'm just sending out some information on the machine. One of the people said I should put it to your attention, if that's okay. Okay. All right, sir. So you're at South Street. Yes. Okay. Also, I'm sending out a price sheet. Uh, who does the ordering for supplies? Um, for for what? Like toners and things like that. Oh, uh, I do. I do for my machine. Okay. The reason I ask was at the end of, uh, well, beginning of next month, there was going to be a price increase on the black ink for the machine, and we set aside a box to come out at the old price if you need it. Okay, well, we don't actually use ink. Uh, well, you know, the toner. Oh, toner. Yeah. Um, well, we don't actually pay for our toner, so I'm a little confused. Oh, maybe I have the wrong place. All right, thank you, John. All right. Okay. Bummer. He uh, he gave up a lot easier than I thought he was going to. I wanted to mess with him a little bit more, uh, but maybe I sounded like I knew too much what I was talking about. I should have played dumber and played along with him and made it sound like I was going to buy some toner and just see what all he would say. But obviously, he started off by saying his name and that he's a he's a representative with the photocopier. How more generic can you get? than that. I'm a representative with a photocopier. I I think of all these things after the fact, but I should have asked him, uh, what, what company are you with? I should have asked him that. I should have asked him, see, I always think of all these things after the fact. Ugh. I gave up my hand too soon. I revealed to him that I wasn't going to fall for his phony baloney. Oh, well. I tried. But anyway, let this be a lesson to everybody out there watching this. If you work at an office place that has any kind of copiers or printers that use toner, at some point, you or somebody in your office will get a phone call like this from somebody saying they are with the photocopier, they're a representative, and they need to send you toner before the price goes up. And then they'll have, they'll have you place an order with them and charge you way too high of a price for the toner. And scam you out of all that money so don't fall for it well so far so good i've posted a vlog every day in january so haven't failed yet and i hope i can make it through the entire month you may have noticed the last couple days my vlogs have been posted in the evening instead of by mid-morning is when i usually schedule them to go live i got a little behind with the editing so i wasn't able to finish the edits the night before so then i had to wait till i got off work to finish them the next day and then post them in the evening and then that made filming the next vlog and editing the next vlog a little difficult so push, push the other one off to the next evening as well and so now as a result i'm going to do a shorter vlog 
for today. So that's going to do it for this vlog, and I will see you guys hopefully with a longer vlog tomorrow.